good morning y'all welcome to another week in my life so it is finally warm y'all it's like 80 degrees i got on a dress and sandals and life feels good so this morning i woke up i went to my 9 a.m and then i worked out and i ate breakfast and now i'm about to meet amelia so we can <laughs> y'all there was a beef <laughs> so we can do something for our housing next year and then i have two classes and a couple meetings and it's campaign week so there's like so much stuff going on so i'm definitely gonna take y'all along with all of that What's up, y'all? Shout out to Abria for letting me be on her vlog. My name is Juan Hawkins. I'm running for your next SJ undergraduate president. Currently, the SJ undergraduate president. Uh, my theme is CAU Forever. Um, so come out to my table. I'm here till four to learn about my thing. Hey, y'all. So it is Wednesday, and I'm on my way to my 140 class. I don't have my 305 today. I don't have to go into class, but we have an online activity. Um, so technically, this is the last class that I have to go in for. And then I have a meeting for competition that I'm doing on Friday. Um, so I just gotta knock that out. But I just wanted to talk to y'all and let you know that it is not all fun and games. Like I know sometimes my vlogs look so fun and then I really only pick up the camera sometimes when I'm doing things that are gonna be interesting for you guys. But kind of just stressful and it's a lot of work. And when you're involved in a lot of things, it's a lot. And it's one of those weeks, it's the end of the semester. My life is not my own, y'all. I am so tired. And I just wanted to come and be real with y'all and let you know that you do have to put in the work to be able to afford doing all the fun things. So as I was telling y'all earlier, it really is not always fun and games. Like, I'm tired, I'm run down, I'm exhausted, like I'm ready for the semester to be over. But I'm on my way to the library to grind it out some more. So, it's real y'all, it's not just all fun humps and stuff. Okay, it is Thursday, which is really my Friday, and I'm on my way to class. I'm gonna meet Carly per usual so we can walk to class. This is what we do every day. Um, and then we have class. Um, and then, like I said to you guys, I'm doing this competition, this business case competition, which is tomorrow. So today we have a reception for it. So I have to go to that at 6.30. And today is the Miss CAU pageant, and I really wanna go to that. Um, so hopefully I can make it back in time to catch some of that. And obviously, I will bring you guys with me. And tomorrow will be the weekend, y'all. These squirrels and stuff around here do too much. Look who's back! Did y'all miss Cho? And Golden Boy! I haven't vlogged them in forever. We've been trapped. So that's what's going on. What'd you say? I keep catching bugs. I put a book right on my shoulder. I'm a ninja. So it is Friday evening and I am on my way to the Miss Maroon and White pageant, which is Morehouse's like Miss Morehouse essentially. So I'm about to go to that with Carly and Amelia. Hey girl. Oh, you look cute. Good morning, y'all. So it is Saturday and I just got up, got dressed. I'm about to go to brunch with my mentor. Um, that's another like amazing thing about CAU. Like you're surrounded by so many um, amazing alumni and just like older people who are associated with the school and if you ask for help they really will help you um so i actually met my mentor in a class that i was taking she came um just because she wanted to give back and she wanted to do something for the school so she pretty much just came and sat in the class and was like anything that you guys need i'm here for like i have no specific designation but like i'm gonna be here all semester so use me accordingly and um, I actually had an interview coming up and I asked her if we could do some mock interviews together and we did and then we ended up just becoming really really cool like it wasn't calculated in any way I wasn't like oh my god like this lady has to be my mentor but um, just through talking to her and getting to know her I realized that she was somebody that I actually really wanted to learn from um, she was a finance major as well my concentration is finance so um, it's just about pulling from like the resources that you have available and like building relationships like 
I genuinely care about her you know what I mean she's my friend it's not like oh I'm just like talking to this woman because I need anything like it's not like I go to her she's my friend you know what I mean like we've built a genuine relationship um and we haven't hung out that much this semester because she's been traveling and then I've been doing school and stuff so we're gonna grab brunch this morning and just kind of chill out um I actually saw her on campus the other day and then we were both like oh my god we gotta do something so it's like just like regular friend relationship you see your friend and you're like oh my god we gotta catch up like we've been busy but anyway that's besides the point so the pageant was really good last night um a young lady named anta she won i don't know her personally but congratulations to her on winning miss maroon and white i'm sure she will do a spectacular job her dress was absolutely amazing um i think she was crowned yellow so her dress was like a really pretty like yellow with like flowers you guys saw it in the last clips but absolutely gorgeous so again congratulations to her um so i'm about to just go to brunch and then after i'm probably gonna come back and do some work because i have plenty of work to be done we only have three full weeks left in the semester so yeah it's actually like the weirdest balancing act because it's like we have three weeks left in the semester but the next three weekends are gonna be lit like there's so much going on in this week like this is spring fest and i'm um, on campus activities board so like all week we have an event every single night um so yeah this is gonna be interesting so i'm gonna come back and try to like knock out a whole bunch of my work i have an accounting project doing wednesday i'm gonna try to finish knock that out so i can show it to her on monday make sure that i did everything right um marketing i have some marketing due tomorrow we're just gonna knock that out and then i'm gonna get all my reading done for the week because i'm not gonna have time every night to sit and read for my classes um because i'm gonna have these events so that is that gonna go get some brunch and then i will come back and talk to you guys i mean i'll probably talk to you guys um while we're at brunch introduce you to my mentor if she feels like being on camera and yeah i'll show you guys my food of course i always show you guys my food because food is the most important part of these vlogs this is not about cau this is not about abria this is about abria's food i'll see you guys oh, later. OTD. so i have on this little overall dress um i think this is from forever 21 it's all bunched up because of my fanny pack um have on this little overall dress and then I have on a black crop top from Zara under it with some it has little sleeves and it's really cute it has this cute little pocket detail in the back but it's not really a pocket and then I'm just gonna put on these little slide loafer thingies um I got these from Marshalls I think or TJ Maxx they're by um Franco Franco Sarto and then I just have on my crossbody um, that I turned into a fanny pack. This is actually not how it's supposed to go, but this is how I've been wearing it because I like it better this way. I think it looks cute. It adds a little something, something. And then um, I don't have any makeup on today because it's still kind of morning time and I just, uh, I wasn't really feeling it. Oh, I got my braids redone yesterday, guys. Just the front. The back, um, my singles in the back are still the same. But I got the back redone, and I went and got my hair, my braids, all of them. Washed and conditioned. Um, if you are in the Atlanta area and you're looking for a good braider, definitely hit me up, and I will give you her contact information. She does an amazing job. She actually works in my aunt's shop. Um, my aunt, who I'm always talking about, whose house I'm always over, she has a shop in East Point, Georgia, and um, the young lady who braids my hair works in her salon. So my aunt, um, she washes and treats my hair for me, like per usual, my real hair, and then the young lady um, braids it for me. And then when I go to get my braids washed, my aunt treats it as well, sits me under the dryer, like make sure that my that my braids are dry so that. Um, they don't mildew or anything and like, I get a good wash and then um, the young lady rebraids the front of my hair because I do intend to keep these in like as long as you keep in box braids so you know like a month um, like four to six weeks um, but I didn't want to just not do anything to my hair for four to six weeks that's not how I do my protective styles um, so I made sure that I went to my aunt and because the front is cornrows you know it gets messed up faster than the box braids that's what I was trying to say so I had to get the front redone so that it looked appropriate because 
I um, have a couple business things coming up this week and just things that I needed to look like a human being for. And I didn't want to go in there with little raggedy uh, bow wow in like my braids. That just wasn't going to work. But anyway, I'm about to go get this brunch and I will see you guys later. I just finished lunch at Rhea's Bluebird. It's over there. <laughs> this is Claire. Yeah. It's Claire. <laughs> this is my mentor. She is freaking hilarious. And now she's going to take a couple pics for me. Photo up. So, you know, check out check out my Instagram for the picture. Get on the IG. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to another week in my life so to this week is spring fest week um so there's a ton of a ton of things that are going on on campus tonight we are having roll bounce which is like we're turning our multi-purpose room into a skating rink so that's gonna be super duper fun um i didn't vlog like today me going to classes and stuff because my first class got canceled and then i was just kind of trying to get to my other rooms and get them over with um, but now I am about to head to the event. It doesn't start until 6. Um, it's about 5 o'clock right now. I have to be there a little bit earlier because I'm on campus activities board, um, which throws all of the like events on campus. So this is going to be really, really fun. I'm excited and obviously I'll bring you guys with me and show you all the fun stuff this week. Buckle, 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 buckle. <laughs> you know the devil. It's Tuesday. Last night was so so fun. We did the roll bounce um event and everybody seems to have a really really good time. So that was awesome. Um today is an escape room. I'm working on that event too, so that'll be really really fun. Um I think people will really really enjoy that as well. But I am about to go to my class. I have three classes today. Per usual, I have three classes every day. I take six classes in total, which is um, 18 courses, 18 credit hours. Most people take 15. You have to take 15 credit hours a semester to graduate on time. I've been taking 18 um, the last couple of semesters just to get a little bit ahead um, in case I want like a little bit of wiggle room because I am an international business um, concentration as well as finance. So I want to go abroad. So in case I went abroad, I didn't want anything to conflict, like any of my classes to conflict, and I'm not graduating on time, so I take extra classes. That's it. That's just me. But most people take 15, so don't get overwhelmed when I say that I take six. And honestly, taking six isn't bad. Like, it's not bad. It's three classes a day, and I still have Fridays off, so I try to use Fridays to, like, get ahead on work so then during the week I'm not overwhelmed. You just got to know how to pace yourself. But anyway, that was fun last night. Um, there is a lecture series going on at like 12 today. So if I can get in there, I'm going to try to catch that. But I do need to meet with one of my professors, so I might not be able to. But I will see you guys later. I will um, either vlog during the day if it doesn't get too hectic. I'm mad about all the fighting and the dying over sneakers like Jordans and young people killing each other over a dime. I'm mad. Mad about mothers leaving their young children at home along and leaving them in hot cars. And I'm mad about men having to be held accountable to being fathers through legislation or law. I'm mad that we have to be encouraged to register and vote with all the blood that our ancestors shed. People like C.T. Vivian, Jimmy Jackson, John Lewis, Jose Williams. Hello, y'all. It is Wednesday, April 18th. I'm on my way to class. So I have two classes that I'm about to go to. And it is like Caribbean week. So there's a hump today. I'm gonna go to that. And then I'm gonna go study because it is the end of the semester. And there's a lot of fun stuff to do. But there's a lot of work. It's a trap. I'm telling y'all, it's a trap. Sorry, the wind was blowing. I was trying to fix my dress. There's a lot going on. But I will talk to y'all when I get out of class. Hey y'all, so this hey. is Maya. Fun yes, she went to my high school and you she's know. visiting Clark. I really want her to come here. Maybe a future, so, future yes. student, who knows. But you liking it? You liking it? I actually do. Okay. And I appreciate you for helping me. I'm so excited. I'm honestly, I'm going to text you. Cause... Okay. Let me see. I'm just about to go out. Cool. Let me show you guys the fit. Show you the fit. So I have on this white skirt, which is from Paxon. And then just a white, like, tank top. And then I have on this little thing, which is really a dress. It's like long in the back but i'm wearing it as a duster today because i thought it looked cute and then i have one of my silver birkenstock i love these things 
I don't care what anybody says. I will continue to wear my Jesus sandals. I have bring socks in a couple colors and I love them to death. And I think it looks cute with this I outfit. Get I love these. I love them. And then I, I got my hair so. in the middle. But I love God. Don't love God. Okay, we do what you're supposed to do. Make sure you study, make sure you follow your dreams and all of that good shit. And make sure that you have power. July 1st. God bless you all. I love you all. Peace. This was impactful. I respect this. God bless you. This is a big rich town. Actually, I just ran out of contact, so glasses it is. Just happens to go with the fit, but I'll see oh, you. Oh, you know what? You know, it's just be me and my mom. It's me and my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad's not around. Eh, I kind of had that thing going too. Uh, you know, I'm already gonna be be at a disadvantage because of my race, my whatever, all that. It's all about the mindset mm -hmm. that you have. Yeah. I have always felt that everything I've done has been with a purpose. Mm -hmm. You know. I remember a um, high school basketball team, right? And one thing I've learned about, and, and, and you said you were marketing for the Hawks. Um, the people who have to market a basketball team are really, really up against a lot. Let me tell you why. 95% of the payroll goes to 14 people who really don't care what you think. Hello, y'all. Long time no talk. Listen, the end of the semester took over my life. Like, I haven't even been doing anything to vlog that's interesting. Like, there's been nothing going on. So I haven't picked up my camera in a while, but today is the last day of classes, May 2nd, and it is also toga, <clears throat> which is a big party and everybody wears togas to it. Why it's called toga, duh. But anyway, that should be fun. So I'm going to that tonight and today is Chelsea's birthday. So that's mainly why we're going out because it's her birthday and we have to celebrate because my little baby is 20. So that is pretty much what's going on. Um, I pretty much decided that like these last like three-ish weeks, I'm just gonna like compose into one big vlog. Um, so the vlog that you're watching right now is gonna kind of jump all over the place. Like it's not like Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday. It's probably like three days in like the last three weeks, like three days of each of the last three weeks. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
so that's pretty much what we're gonna do and it's just kind of gonna wrap up sophomore year vlog so this will be the last vlog in about a Bria's sophomore year but there will be summer vlogs and there will be a vlogs junior year and of course a vlog senior year so that is that um like i said it is the last day of classes i have my 9 a.m and then i had an appointment that i had to um do with one of my professors and then I came back and changed and got ready for the day, all that good stuff. And I'm just waiting um, for my friends. We're going to go to the calf. And then we're going to go to our last, the 140 and 305 of the semester. And we will be done. And it will officially be finals week. And I'll be a junior. Like, well. I feel like I just filmed my move-in vlog and the semester is over already. I need to start packing up this room. Oh, God. Like, it looks like I don't have that much stuff in here, but I know I do. And I'm a hoarder. Like, I have this weird thing. I hate um throwing away my notebooks. Like, so I have... I still have all my notebooks from freshman year and I still have all my notes from last semester. And I'm probably going to keep the ones from this semester. I don't know what it is. I did the same thing in high school and I didn't throw away my high school notebooks until last summer. So I think I have a problem. Um, but we're going to have to figure out a new system for that because it's, it's just, they're heavy and they take up a lot of space and I'm going to have to figure something out. But yes, today's Cho's birthday. It's Toga. Um, obviously going to bring you guys along with me to that. Like I said, show you guys my Toga. It'll be pretty cute. Hey y'all, so it is later and I am just getting ready for Toga. Amelia was just here and I helped her make her toga and figure out what we were gonna do for that because honestly like this is the end of the semester and everything has been so crazy so we all kind of even forgot that we had to do this the only reason i had extra fabric so i gave it to her so i made her a cute little toga and we're gonna be cute and show his birthday and we're just gonna have a good time so uh, i'll talk to you guys when i'm ready show you guys everything um it'll be super cute so we're ready for toga i did my little baby toga and my toga See his little feet. I have these shoes that my mom sent me that I had worn for like another little costume type thing. So I had her send these to me. And I bought this little Amazon, this little thing off Amazon for like two bucks. And we're ready to go. And I got some little leaves in my hair. So this is cute. This is like a, it's like a silver sparkly material. So it's kind of, it's kind of cute. And me and Amelia have on like the same fabric, but different, uh, Style, so it's kind of like Destiny Child. <laughs> no, for real, like especially since it's Chelsea's right there. That's what we were gonna do. Like we were gonna Chelsea was gonna do gold, and I was gonna do silver, yeah. and then we were gonna do like a girl group type. But yeah, Chelsea has on the white, so this is gonna be ready with my little babies. Hey, birthday girl! It is my birthday. Oh my gosh. Hey, birthday girl! <laughs> <laughs> Friday last day of the semester I'm literally the only human being here right now at least that's what it feels like campus is empty except for the couple of people who are leaving it's 11 o'clock and I don't have an exam until one I'm so ready to go like I really can't even explain uh, it's a sophomore year.